Yeah, I think that looks good. Just doing a little bit of last minute resorting <laughs> to everybody. All right. Hi there, I'm Lavanna Fame. Welcome to <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 full release episode 55. And we're about to check out these uh, undead further up here. Uh, what was it? A death shepherd. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, sacred defiance. Oh, damn it. Walked away. Okay, well. <laughs> we're about to check them out anyway. We have a trap just there. But I think we're probably going to go into turn-based mode when this guy has walked further up here. Just to make sure we have enough time to get there and uh, not set it off. So, yeah. Probably now, actually. Yeah, he's not facing this way, so it should be okay. Alright, so, Shadowheart. Cloak and dagger, my favourite. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Guidance on Astarian, because you don't need to move anywhere. Okay. Kelia, move out of the way. And Astarian, who should still be in hiding. Yeah, it's just Shadowheart who isn't. He can get all the way up here. Ah. Oh, this one was coming this way. Okay, that might be a problem next next turn. <laughs> but that should be an action to disarm, so he should be able to... Cunning action dash to get there. Yeah, okay. It's only a 10, we shouldn't have a problem here. Yep, easy peasy. Okay. Alright. Sweet. And come a little bit away, Starion. Just to make sure. Okay. And we might as well exit turn base now. It's only Shadow Heart who's hmm. possibly letting the side down. Unseen as I was taught. There we go. So, I just changed a couple of things with her. I've taken this helmet off because she, it was useful while we were inside somewhere, while she's obscured by shadows, but we're outside and everything that she was wearing at the time, like, was made to give off light. <laughs> so she's not going to be obscured by shadows for very long. I have taken off the guiding light ring now though, but still. I figured, I figured just giving her the circlet of psionic revenge would be useful, more useful to her right now. Yeah, and she's been given the Ring of Arcane Synergy, so if she does do, if she does deal damage with a cantrip, she'll gain Arcane Synergy for two turns, which I thought was fine because I do, I use her for spellcasting and for hitting with her melee weapon, and she's one of the few that actually does that. So. Yeah, that's why I've also given her the Ring of Elemental Infusion, but I haven't put it on her. Because I'm just, I'm just not sure if I want to, if I want to use that, because it's, it's not radiant damage. It doesn't have radiant on it, it's all acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. That probably would have been better for Will. <laughs> not gonna lie, that probably would have been better for Will. Oh well. Yeah, so I've restructured this a little bit as well for her. So we've got her class actions and her channel divinity down here. And a few of her best spells. <laughs> so I just, I know to look on the bottom rung for those. Okay. Alright. I did think of giving her the gloves of dexterity, but... Uh, the mace isn't a uh, versatile weapon, so... There's no point. <laughs> There's no point. Caught off guard. Uh, okay, I could the has to come first. probably should go with Shadow Hat first, just in case. But let's have to keep low. hide and then come up here. We want to see if there's any more traps or anything. Oh, she might actually be seen right now. Okay, we want to get as close as 
possible. Oh dear, reception failed. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh no, staring! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we found it. We found it. We, uh... We're not repulsed though, so that's good. Can't even catch my breath. Okay. <sighs> Never mind. So the ghouls are coming to us. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that's good. That's fine. They're getting closer to Shadowheart. And that's what we really want here, probably. <laughs> Uh, who who is actually to go first? Can we all? They're not surprised. They're not surprised. So I don't think these things have any conditions that I need to know of. But I'll have a look. Just dark vision and opportunity attacks. Poison immunity. I think we're okay for them. It's these guys that I'm worried about. Uh. It just happens to have some temporary hit points and is resistant to all damage <laughs> except radiant and can't be turned okay so that's important it can't be turned not while it has um, temporary hit points oh, it's also silent <laughs> well good good be silent But that just means that we're going to have to save Shadowheart for the shepherds then. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Go for it. Damn right. Let's try and off balance this one. And you should be able to just get a nice ray of frost there, hopefully. Sweet, well done. And you actually get no, no advantage for you unless I bring One card Gale closer. That feels like a really bad idea. Starion, can you get closer? Yeah. I speak, they burn. Now you should have sneak attack. Excellent. Okay, okay. I actually kind of think we should probably pull back so that these shepherds actually have to come down to us. Oh yeah, that, that's something. I gave, I changed her necklace from the uh, the magic missile one to this brand of the week thing. I really wanted to try it out. So hopefully, hopefully this thing will work on um, on these undead. Maybe it'll change the thing that they have, the um, the resistance if they become vulnerable because of that. So yeah. Pretty cool. Or it should be, hopefully. <laughs> if she uses this uh, a firebolt cantrip on it, she should get something from her ring. Oh, she needed a 12 to hit? Never mind, Shadowheart, never mind. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Just come back a little bit. I don't think we need any of our other spells off right now. So, yeah, let's wait for them to come to us, I think. It is dashing. Good. Oh, it didn't dash very far, did it? That's better. Oh, aghast. Okay, okay, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. 
immune to nauseous. Yeah, that. That's a problem. Okay. That is a problem. Ghastly fume. The affected entity's foul stench creates a pungent cloud that nauseates all creatures around it. Yikes. Can't take actions. Wow. It's resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Advantage against the effects of turn on dead. Sacred defiance aura. Oh my gosh. That's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Do I want to use my uh, my necklace's function on that? Do I want to? <laughs> we'll try it. We will. We'll try it. Um, most of what we're going to use is piercing because we'll be not trying not to get close to it. So become vulnerable to piercing, please. Okay, I need to check that now. Uh, affected entity is vulnerable to piercing. Yes, so the resistance is gone. Piercing resistance has gone. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Go for it. Uh, okay, Pierce the Week is gone. That was not a good... It was not a great hit. It was a good hit, but it wasn't great. Okay. Well... Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Okay. That's decent. Never a dull moment. So this cloud that it's giving off, it's not going to be explosive or anything, is it? It's just a pungent cloud. It's not a... It's not a nasty cloud. <laughs> it's not a cloud that's going to actually go up in flame. I hope. I hope. Well, go for it anyway. A nine. Decent. Okay. And the cloud did not go up. Kelly, I will probably try and get a uh, to get rid of that one. So Shadow Heart just needs to get rid of this. Is it a bit too early to do to do Spirit Guardians? I think it, it feels too early to do Spirit Guardians. These guys haven't even gotten there yet, and it's concentration, so she's likely to be knocked out of it too quick. So I'll just do a sacred flame. Oh, fifty percent. Oh, go for it. Oh, nice. 14. Okay. It's not completely down, but it's looking rough. Kelly. The only way out is Don't miss. Good. Okay. It might not even need to dash, but if it does, then at least... At least it's wasted at least at uh, one action. So, yeah. We're ages. good. No rest for the wicked on ghoul. Ah, okay, so that got it up. Oh, he's getting more of them up, okay. Well, in that case... Saved against Lathandar's light. And they saved against the stinking cloud. Okay. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. Okay. And these guys have uh, saved against nauseous. That's good. I mean, that means that they should be able to just take it out. Hopefully. Sweet. Well done. Yep, 
Okay. Damn, they're saving against Lathanda's light quite a lot. Oh. Kelly is nauseous. <laughs> okay, well. Let's put Hunter's Mark on that guy. Okay. The last board is set. Yeah. You guys. And that one's too far away. But I mean, if we got all three of those, then that would be great. That would be great. So let's try it. Awesome. Every single one of them failed. That is awesome. My faith will protect me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you should hope so. So. That uh, cannot be turned. Yeah, okay. Okay, well. I kind of just want to see it. I want to see it happen. So try it. Ghoul needed 14 and rolled a 16. Take a 2. Hey, okay, that one's turned and that one just died. Slain by holy light. Okay. Awesome. Oh, and that one was so close to being killed. So close, but not close enough. Let's just do the spiritual weapon. Gail will keep moving away. <laughs> okay, end that turn. Let's see what this one's gonna do. No rest for the wicked on ghoul. Well, on ghouls, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. It's on the ghasts that I'm, I'm gonna stop it. So, that's fine. I don't care. Just come closer to me. Oh, on spiritual weapon? No. Nope spiritual weapon but it's fine okay starion let's get an offhand into that one will that get an attack of opportunity it shouldn't he's not moving far enough yeah and then might as well take that one. <laughs> he rolled a nine. Sure, why not? We just need to clear the field here. Just go for that one. Why not? Ooh, a critical hit. Very nice. That would be a perfect fireball cluster, wouldn't it? It would be a perfect fireball cluster. Go for that one. Wow. <laughs> it needed a 15 to save and it rolled a 15. No. Okay, so the Death Shepherds are still up. They still have their... Uh, hit points as well. Oh, no, one of them has lost its temporary hit points.
It's only 60% though. And the um, spiritual weapon will die if I do that, so... Let's just try and pile onto one. Nice. Critical hit, and it was a 20. Very, very good, hun. Very good. She can try it. Why not? Oh, it's saved. Okay, well, never mind, Shadowheart. We're good. All it can do is raise all of these ghouls again. <laughs> and that's it. So far, they haven't been doing much else than just raising the ghouls, so... Just give yourself the oil of accuracy, I think. Yeah. And that's fine. Let's see what they're going to do. On ghoul. No. It's fine. You can keep raising it. I don't care. It's if you try and do it on the ghast that I want to... Yes. There we go. And let's counterspell that one. Rattle. <laughs> It's just rattling now. That's fine. Okay. So, spiritual weapon. You could go for that one, but I want you to just go for this one. Um, high defense. It is, a, it is a high defense. But just go for it. Maybe you'll get... Yes, there we go. It's immune to gaping wounds, but never mind. You're serving your purpose. Okay. And this one still has that that veil. Sixty-five percent. Go for it anyway. God damn it, Kellia. <laughs> God damn it. Get your flaming blade out. There we go. So she has some light and hopefully she's illuminating it a little. You're going to have to make up for her lack here. Uh, not a lot, but we have got rid of the veil, and that's that's good. That's very good. Okay, and just slap it again. Slow goodly, good. <laughs> okay. She will take an attack of opportunity if she moves, but it's worth it. Uh, or, or not. <laughs> Apparently she's just going to run back? Really? What was that? What the hell? Why did she run back? You deserve this, Kellia. You deserve this. Okay. Let's pour them all onto this one. Okay, 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 okay. That was decent. That was decent. Well done, Gail. And it's just going to try lifting that up again next turn, which is going to waste his uh, level 4 spell slot, but what can you do? Let's try the sunbeam, can we? Is this... How long is it? How long is it? Can you actually reach those? If I go for those two, let's just go for those two. See what this does. Ah, okay, it doesn't go all the way down there, it only, it only went, it's only short range, okay. Well, that was pretty cool. So now we just have to wait for this guy to decide to, li to 
<laughs> bring him back up on his uh, no rest for the wicked thing, I'm guessing. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. Not happening. It was a nice try, hon. It was a nice try. Yes, you can rattle at me all you like. <laughs> well, try a sacred flame on that one, just because. Yeah, okay, you're good. Shall Never mind. And, run. and you are going to come here between both of them, just in case. You will get advantage. We'll both get advantage on both of them and we'll just see what happens and who gets what. <laughs> oh, one hit point. <laughs> one hit point, Astarian. Get that off hand, you know you can do it. Ah, oh, a miss. Okay, it might. Death is but a word away. It's fine. Step to it. Oh. Oh, really? No, I was trying to click on Kellia. Whatever. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I won't give in. Try and get your off hand on this one. A miss. Okay, whatever. Go for this one. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell, Gale? What the hell? Okay. I don't suppose you can get there. Just try it. Well done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> well, that was awkward. That was awkward. And definitely not what I intended, Gale. You could have been the MVP of that. You could have taken out the one hit point one. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so these, <laughs> these ghouls and the death shepherds, what? Where are their bodies? Here. Where? What do you have? Half plate armor. Okay. And a great sword. Uh, the ghoul. Nothing. Okay, I suppose. It's not like it would have anywhere to hold it. Nothing from that one. This death shepherd. Just its half plate and great sword. Okay. This ghoul. Nothing, okay. That ghoul, nothing, and the guest. Nothing, okay. Well. <laughs> that was an experience. What's she lost? Can't be Hunter's Mark because that's there. Ah, okay. She dropped... She dropped her... Dagger? Right, okay, that will have been from her flame blade. Her flame blade. Okay. Okay, well. Moving ahead. Let's get up here. And that... That was... Another trap up there, but I think Astarian stepped on it, so that was that. <laughs> oh, Gith Yankee. Okay, dead Gith Yankee. Well, there's a lot of that going about, isn't there? And it's all youths and zealots of the absolute. Interesting. And an opulent chest. Well, well, well. The real treasure, right here. Let's have a look in here. Open up. Elixir of poison resistance, sweet. Basic poison, a silver goblet, okay. Large enough to contain several bottles of the most expensive wines. Uh, Malachite and 74 gold, sweet. Yes, we're taking it, of course we are. <laughs> Let's 
send those away. I doubt I'm going to need Broodmother's Revenge and Larethian's Wrath. Oh, whoops. Oh, dear God, did I just... I pressed Y. That was... Uh, that was a short rest, wasn't it? That was a short rest. God damn it. It's so close to inspect. It's just too close to inspect for me. Okay. Razor Gale. Okay. Swing your weapon in a cyclone of steel that deals razor, sh razor blade sharp damage to all enemies within range. I mean, that is cool. I don't think any of us use long swords though, so... Um, let's just send them away. I need a scroll case. I need a scroll case. I'm sure we'll find one. I'm sure we'll find one eventually. What's next? I hope they have them in this game. And it's not just curious book. Book book is fine for books. I'd rather not have my books and my scrolls in one book. Book. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. Can't give up now. Yeah, indeed. Swift as my feet can carry me. What we need to do right now is investigate. Dead zealot of the absolute. A missive for moonrise. A plain unadorned note. Plate armor, very nice. A short bow and a halberd. Okay, dead Githanki youth. Arrow of darkness, sourdough bread, and weave moss. Very nice. Let's grab all of these arrows. Squir the squirrel had a bedroll. Two squirrels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Okay. What's Dead Zealot of the Absolute here? down here. At 12 gold, a scroll of Kunja Minor Elemental, Halberd, Short Bow, and Plate Armor. Heavily encumbered, yeah. I imagine you would be. And read this missive. Duke Ravengard is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. General Ketherick Thorm. Oh, really? Seems Moonrise Towers has acquired a high value asset. Uh, we do have that quest to find Ravengard, though, so. And we, are, we already knew it was going to Moonrise Towers. Silver Ingot, Elixir of Peerless Focus. Okay. Didn't help though, did it, hun? Did not help. Okay, I don't suppose there are any more. Ooh, okay. Well, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that does not look good. Uh, come up here. Maybe a bit slow, just in case there are more traps around. Just in case. Let's have a look at this youth. Potion of Glorious Vaulting and a Tourmaline Ring. Should have taken your potion and jumped away. Maybe over to here or something. Or, you know, just very, very far away. Oh, berry bush. With four raspberries, sweet. Okay. Let's just keep going very, very slowly. In fact, hmm. where is your guidance? Tapestarian. Careful, I'm by. There we go. And you can go forwards. Anything pinging the sensor. Yes, it's quite broken. We'll need to find another way across. Yeah. Quite broken. Do you think, hun? Do you think? 
Although, you know, push a glorious vaulting. <laughs> Ramp it up to 11 and go. I'll bet Lazelle could make it. <laughs> but it's Chasm, so it doesn't want us to make it. Okay. Let's be quick. Let's have a look at this burlap sack. Ooh, three potatoes. Or would you credit it? Would you credit it? Okay. And there's nothing nothing down there that we want to be jumping to or looking at. Maybe. Can you actually get there? What is that? It isn't actually something. Okay. I mean, it looks like it should be, though. It really looks like it should be. But no. Okay. Well, never mind then. Never mind. So, it's this way. And down here, I guess. But still, this way. Ooh, rogue's Mossel down there. That is what we like to see. Can we get over this side of the wall? No? Okay. Can I guess that we can't climb up there? No, okay. Okay, well you don't know unless you try, so... There is a Never bird's nest right there. Oh, with a silver band in it. And rogue's mossel. Go grab that for me. Thank you. Okay. And another bridge. And this one has a plaque just over it. Just next to it. Okay, I'll go and read that, definitely. Hmm. Oh. What's that? Oh, you passed a survival check. Well done, Astarian. And he didn't even have guidance on. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. 21 gold, a bloodstone, and a scroll of featherfall. <laughs> um, foreshadowing? <laughs> Are you... You must be. You must be foreshadowing. Although I'm not sure how Featherfall would help us in this uh, in this area. That just looks like straight death chasm down there. Well, never mind. Pick that up. And let's definitely grab this balsam. Oh my gosh. Finally got some balsam again. I really need to check vendors when we actually see them for these ingredients so I can actually make my own potions. Walk in the way of dawn, for Lathander cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's decent enough as warnings go. Very, very carefully, Astarian. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm being cautious and there's no need. There's no need, apparently. We're, we're absolutely fine. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to jump up on there. But there is a dead rabbit right here. Poor thing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> there, wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, I'm saying exactly the same thing man. that it is in Bulls. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. <laughs> on his behalf? Or on our behalf? Is this a Gale thing? This must be because he's, he mentioned him by name. Okay, 
How likely is it that Kellyan knows Elminster? Everybody knows Elminster, don't they? Or they know of him. Okay, so the scholarly types or the uh, the ones with magical aspirations will know who Elminster is. To everyone else, he's just a name they hear in passing. Gail did just identify him though. So she's going to be interested in this. Gail knows a powerful person. And apparently this powerful person has decided to hit the road just for Gail. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, sounds like your friend has come quite far looking for you. Why don't you introduce us, Gail? Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. He looks I was very much like Ian McKellen. <laughs> I time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare. Worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. <laughs> Why, some bread, <laughs> cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it? Yeah, Gail, come on. <laughs> Ply the powerful old man with food. Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe we can rub shoulders a little bit. Maybe, you know, earn the right to name drop him a little. <laughs> oh, he apologizes, I'm sure. Things have just been so hectic. Oh, for the love. Uh, <laughs> well, this way then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. The <laughs> best follow. And see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Most people's courses are chattered by their stomach scale. Oh, really? <laughs> so we really are... I thought we'd just be having a, a sit-down, but no, we're actually going to have to go to camp. Okay, well, it doesn't mean that we need to have a, a full rest, though, I'm sure. This is just heading to camp. Hopefully. I'd rather not put it off in the meantime, anyway. So, yeah, we'll just go straight away. Thirteen centuries... I wonder how he's managed that. But yeah, we'd better go see to him. Otherwise he'll be alone at camp with Lazelle. That's not likely to make him more talkative. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. <laughs> okay. So, oh, he's <laughs> he just happens to be in Gale's place. Okay. Mm, oh. Yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be safer oh, so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. <laughs> right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Now that's interesting. 
Since what Gail did could have been seen as a betrayal, I'm surprised that she's sending messages. And with such an important messenger, too. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. <laughs> you know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. Ooh. She knows of your strife with the absolute. That most insidious of evils. Really? <laughs> you already know of the absolute then? Maybe maybe they're just becoming more widespread or something during our adventures, but I thought they were pretty much unheard of. <laughs> yes, definitely going for the third one. Definitely going for the third one. Angling for that help here. If by strife you mean a parasite in the brain, I don't suppose you could help us with that. You are the most powerful wizard in the realms. Surely you know of a way to get rid of it? Alas, the creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves, is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You greater must know purpose? that the absolute is more <laughs> dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why uh -huh. I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Gail. <laughs> what a vote of confidence. Damn. The goddess of magic believes that only Gail can destroy the absolute. Wow. Wow. Does that mean she's going to be improving his to hit chance? <laughs> Kelly doesn't like that Elminster is coming in to remind Gail of his previous devotion. She doesn't like that. Gail is hers now. <laughs> He's one of hers now. Mister can go and find someone else. But she'd love to know why. Why Mister thinks Gail is the only one who can do it. So... Yeah, she's not going to grandstand and say she's the only one to do it, even if maybe that is something that she believes. And she kind of does believe that. She's the one who's talking with the Dream Visitor, and the Dream Visitor is the one who's going to be stopping the Absolute, as far as she knows. And he can't do it without her help, so, yeah. She might believe that the Absolute is going to be taken out by her, but she'd like to know why why Mr. thinks Gale is the only one. And that's more important than uh, stamping her foot and saying, I'm the most important person here. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just go with number one. Only Gale? Really? And why does she believe that? The all. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> this could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. Indeed. You must find <laughs> the heart of the absolute whatever that may be, and use yourself as the um, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Um, uh, won't that, won't that kill him? 
<laughs> Won't that kill him? That's uh really <laughs> So she wants him to <sighs> She wants him to atone with his death. That makes more sense. That makes more sense from a uh, betrayed goddess. Definitely. That makes a lot more sense than just forgiveness. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to say that that's monstrous. Because, honestly, that's one of the reasons why she decided to keep him around herself. <laughs> just in case they need that getaway explosion. Um... I'm probably just gonna have to go with number two. We can't- he can't force Gale to go through with it. Yeah. Cause she doesn't want to get rid of Gale. She doesn't want to get rid of Gale. He's one of hers now, but if he does go through with this, he's proving himself to not be one of hers. He's proving himself to be devoted to Mistra and not her. Not Kellia. And Kellia wants people who are devoted to her. Honestly, all of my companions have gods and goddesses, apart from Astarian, who hasn't yet shown any kind of faith or devotion to anyone because he's busy trying to be his own person. <laughs> Honestly, if, if by the end of this game it's just Kelly or an Astarian, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Kelly, Astarian, Scratch, and the Owl Bear. And Withers, of course. Five-man team of awesome. <laughs> so she'll only forgive him if he commits suicide? You can keep telling him that he's the only one who can stop them, but you can't make him kill himself. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. Gail. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is... Mistress will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra. Mistraria, Italian, Thras, Annas, Dith. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this. Strangest of journeys. Oh well, Minster. <laughs> oh well, Minster. I trust him to you. I count on you. <laughs> well, do you? Do you really? Why? Why? Oh dear. We've got quite a long ways to go just yet. But I'll keep him safe. Maybe even from you. That's another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the skies strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Really? What were the other options? <laughs> what were the other options, Gail? Who else could we have had? What well, stabilized Gale's Netherese orb. You know, it's been ages since he's needed to eat anything and I haven't... It hasn't even stuck with me that... Oh, God, sorry, Astarian. That was uh, definitely not the person I wanted. I can't believe this. 
It, 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 I completely forgot that he needed to eat things, really. It's just been so long since he'd needed to do it. Well, <laughs> how, how are we doing with Gale anyway? At the ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not doing too bad. It's very good. We are very good with Gale. And uh, Shadowheart, oh, a lot less. But then we haven't really had her out as much, have we? And Astarion is just steadily progressing. Steadily and slowly. <laughs> Still only, only halfway up the green pole. Only halfway up. Never mind. Never mind. But yeah, I had completely forgotten they needed to eat things. It's been so long. It progressed so quickly at the beginning. So quickly. And now, I guess he's just been dealing with it silently? Or maybe, or maybe I, uh, I did some things out of order and we should have done the Underdark first and then most of the stuff on the surface so it would have felt like it had taken, taken a bit longer to reach a critical point. <laughs> the critical point where his uh, consuming of items wasn't actually feeding the orb very well. Who knows? Well, never mind. Let's, let's talk to him here. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. He can certainly pack away the cheese. Not really what I would have expected from a great wizard of legend. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. <laughs> For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. So, you're really thinking of doing it then? You're really considering killing yourself? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. But why you? I realize you have this orb, but Elminster just paused it. Why couldn't he just get rid of it? Why couldn't Mistra have just destroyed the Absolute itself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. Obviously, because it's inside you. <laughs> so, your goddess has decided you should die. And you're happy to do it. So this is just a suicide mission for you now, right? Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time. In more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Okay, so... I'll make sure we find it, I promise. Or you're not blowing yourself up, Gale. I won't let you. Oh, the possessive side of her is going to come out very, very hard if we go for number two. But number one, I don't want to make any promises to him for that. Why should she? If we find it and he blows himself up, he's just proving that he's not, he's not hers. He's not really, or never was, one of hers. He was just tagging along. And we don't... We don't like that. 
She doesn't like that. So putting her foot down and saying no. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Find out where we really stand. Your goddess abandoned you, Gil. When you needed her the most, she wasn't there. She didn't want you. And now she wants you to kill yourself. That's insane, Gail. I can't let you do it. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Okay, so <laughs> it's not a... It's not an immediate, yes, you're agreeing to do this type of thing. Good. Good. <laughs> because that was... That was an uncomfortable decision to make right then. Very uncomfortable. Let's see if anyone else has anything to say. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. <laughs> and a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. You suppose? Oh, a Starion. Look at that. He's got a friend. That's adorable. Gail, he's seeing the value in your life. Probably. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay. Let's see what everyone else has to say. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gail to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. It does, it does. It's not like Sha would ever send you somewhere to die for her. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> okay. And Lizelle. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else mm. would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Damn straight. Black if may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Wow. Lizelle. Wow. I wonder that too. But it's also kind of obvious. He's, uh... Mm. He's hurting from his, uh... Betrayal to his girlfriend. <laughs> the distance, the separation between them was a little bit too much for him. He's probably feeling a bit lonely. And, uh... Yeah. If killing himself will make her think well of him again, then he'd probably... That's probably the reason why he'd do it. But he deserves so much more. <laughs> He deserves so much more, but that's a different character. This character is thinking more. He's mine now. <laughs> she had her chance, now he belongs to me. And she he's not going to be following her edicts. They're going to be my edicts, and I tell him when to die. So, yeah. It's food for thought, Lizelle. Food for thought. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's probably everything that we need here. And we didn't need to sleep either. We just needed to come and uh, and talk at camp. So, let's leave camp. Okay. And we did check the rabbit then. We did check the rabbit. Yeah, and there was nothing in it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, I say good. And we've definitely, definitely used those. We haven't oh, excellent choice. gotten anything back. No, good. We didn't, we didn't rest then. It sounded like he was talking about us taking a full rest, but 
No. Right Just away. a short stop. Okay, rotten warning sign. Do not sign. walk in darkness. Turn to the light. Okay, okay. So we need to stay on the light path. But, uh, I mean, the trees are kind of in the way, so... Yeah. And it's not like we can jump from sunbeam to sunbeam, so... Blue jay? Rabbit? My god, there's a lot of dead animals around here. There's a lot of dead animals. Well, let's just... Let's just get down here. In fact... In fact... What's next, I wonder? Star in. <laughs> watch your back. Yeah. You watch it for me, hun. You, you go down there and check everything. Uh, nothing in the blue jay? Okay. And rotten warning sign. Beware of the shadows. Okay. Rotten warning sign. Do not enter. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, because we're going towards uh, Moonlight Moonrise Towers on the Overland, isn't it? But we don't have. We technically didn't That's get given fun. the uh, option to go through the underdeck technically um minthara told us to go in the overland so that's where we're going because that's where she, that's how she's told us to do it i'm also supposed to be strumming my uh, loot at some point to find a friend of hers Who's supposed to come and help us? A crazy friend, but still a friend. Are we supposed to do that here or later? Let's, Let's see what happens if we do it here. Play the spider's liar. Okay. Let's hope that that's the right one. Poor performance. Well, that's fine. It doesn't need to be a good performance. But nothing's happened. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Um, I guess that wasn't what we needed to do then. Okay, so. Rescue the Grand Duke. We're going to be looking for him. We did find a, a note that said he was being taken to Moonrise. So we know that he's on this path, or at least somewhere. Maybe he's actually at Moonrise Towers and we won't find him on the path. Who knows? But, yeah. All of that is done. So, Wizard Waterdeep is probably the only one that seems to have updated. All right. Gale's Mentor. No, wait. Find out what Elminster wants with Gale. So we met the great wizard Elminster, weary from his time on the road. He wanted to speak with Gale about an urgent matter. We should follow up on this in camp. And destroy the heart of the Absolute. Gale's mentor, the great wizard Elminster, sought him out in order to deliver a message from Mistra herself. She instructs him to find the heart of the Absolute and destroy it by detonating the orb. Elminster granted Gale a powerful spell in order to do this, and has stabilised the orb to grant him enough time to find it. This would be suicide for Gale. We need to learn more about this heart, and how else it might be defeated. Yes, we do. Because uh, the only way anyone's leaving me is, <laughs> is through death. But a death of my choosing. I'm so salty that Kalak just managed to walk away from me. I really hate that. I wish we'd have been able to fight her. I wish that we could have we could have attacked before she got away. I really hate that she managed to get away. Oh well. Can you uh, turn the campfire on? Yes. Okay, well, never mind. My way. I guess we're going into the shadows then. And can you grab that blue jay? There's nothing in the blue jay. Okay. 
Well, it's atmospheric anyway. I bet this sounds amazing when you've got the music on as well. I bet it's haunting. I'll just bet. But we don't. Uh, okay, and that's to the Shadow Cursed Lands. So. Uh, maybe we should have played the liar. Yeah, okay, when we've gone through there. When we've gone through there. Well, we'll do it when we get to the other side then. Let's go. I'm about to progress my adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Yeah, I mean, the only loose end that we've got, really. Um, Volo, but we're leaving him in the goblin camp. We don't want to, we don't actually want to rescue him. The Githyanki egg, but again, I don't want to actually take that and give it to that woman. So, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go. Ah, okay, we're at camp. Okay. Well. I guess that's the thing now. <laughs> that's fine. Sure, sure. Um, is there anyone who wants to talk to me? No. Must just be a rest to get to the next part kind of thing. Let's see if anyone's gonna gonna say anything. If anyone wants to speak to me. Hello, my dear. Yep, nothing from him. Okay. Maybe it'll bring Gail. us closer. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, so we've got some stuff to talk to him about. Has Mister always wanted things like this from you? Maybe not death, but. She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. Mm. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. Well, she won't thank you. She'd ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <sighs> and yet, she has asked that of you. And that's hanging over you for however long you've got left. Whether you blow up or not. How do you feel about that? Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Really? Really? Okay. Probably not how he wanted his uh, name to be in the footnotes of history, but sure. Okay. Leave you to it then. Okay. Well, never mind, Gail. Never mind. I don't suppose Withers will say anything about this. Surely, surely he'll have something to say about that. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or, mayhaps, a resurrection instead? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Although it would be hilarious if we could have uh, <laughs> resurrected Will and brought him with us. But, no. No, I think we're good. Okay. Well, let's make sure that everybody's had their chance to speak. May the darkness protect you. Okay. Is this... Surely this isn't a romance thing. Um, I'm hesitant to ever check it. I don't really want to start something with Shadowheart. Especially not since we've uh, kind of moved on from Lazelle to... Actually, I'm thinking the Dream Visitor. <laughs> I think we're gunning for the Dream Visitor now. At least as long as we consider him powerful. 
and useful. So yeah, not a good idea to try starting something with Shadow. But if that's just a friendship thing, then I'd be happy to do it, but... Yeah, I don't know yet, I don't know, and I'm hesitant to try it. But I'll try the, let's talk about what's happened. Just so that we can see if she's going to say anything about what happened with Lacketh. I just want to know if she's going to say anything about that. There's just a few things I wanted to talk to you about. Fine. What's on your mind? Uh, really? Just, still just the Druid Grove? Still just the Druid Grove. Well, how am I holding up? Let's go with that one. Oh, how do you think I've been doing so far as leader of the group? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. Hey, okay. Now that I'm like... Now that we like to hear, you've changed her. She's now been moulded more closely into someone that we would like to keep. Okay, I love that. I love that. Let's turn to other matters, though. Good to hear it. Okay, and we'll leave. And let's see if Lazel's got anything. We like that. That was very nicely done. Okay. Lazel. You must have questions. And I guess she's still considering. Yeah, I guess she's still considering what she wants to do. Maybe another time, Lizelle. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Lizelle is good with us. I don't think her uh, approval took much of a hit. In fact, I think almost everything we did at the crash only increased her approval of us. Even sitting her in that Zethisk and frying her brain. <laughs> that did something good for our approval as well. So yeah. Okay, well, let's go to bed then. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. What? Don't trust him. <laughs> like we were going to? Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Does she? This is Lazel's thing. I'm going to trust her with her customs, with her people. So... Mm. Lizelle? Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lizelle. Within it lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Oh dear. Vlacketh's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, letting Lazelle have control over the situation didn't last long, did it? <laughs> We're already asking questions. Okay. And what does that mean? Are you referring to the person inside? Are you tell me you know who that is. If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally. Protects you with their power. Hmm. That very power will be the end of Vlacketh's tyranny. The prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead... You've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate, 
I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. Oh dear. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend oh me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. No purification? The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. Oh, Lazel. I will hear no more of it. Oh, Lazel, but... The Zethis did do exactly that, didn't it? It did do exactly that. But is he lying, Lizelle? You were the one in that Zethisk. You better than all of us know what it was doing. I think we need to trust him. Gale approves. Shadowheart approves. And we've got two journal updates. Is she going to... Oh, she's gonna do it. Okay. I served Flacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. Oh, I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Hey, okay. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Yeah. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic mm -hmm. detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle well, or well, slip well. away. Mm -hmm. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Well, well. Oh, that's cool. Just up, casually opening portals, that's so cool. <laughs> Ally with Voss against the Gikyanki God Queen. Good luck! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that might be a problem. That might be a problem. I can't believe it! Liz, they actually chose to believe me. She is on my side. Oh my gosh. She's forsaking Blackith. That is... Oh yes! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. That I put her in that Zethisk. <laughs> I'm so glad I've fried her brain. Oh, that's glorious. Okay, well, uh, do I want to speak to everyone else before I speak to her? No, I don't want to risk her uh, her little talk to me disappearing. Let's talk to her first. Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu's slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Flakith. She has sinned against me. Damn right. <laughs> okay, okay. We want this. We want Lazel to choose us, not Flakith. We want to be the one that she devotes her life to. Uh, let's go, no, let's go for number two, actually. Yeah. 
This follows on with the conversation a little bit more. She has. She's sinned against all of your people. Voss even thinks she's a tyrant. Do you agree? I'd never thought Vlakin a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Yeah. It's good to know that before you were ascended, then. I mean, what exactly would have happened, anyway? Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bond. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then... We speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Uh, so they never knew what happened to the ascended then. They just assumed that they were eternal and never seen again. Well, yeah, okay. Makes more sense that they were actually being eaten. <laughs> so, the person in the prison spoke the truth, then. She doesn't know anything about stopping the gig. How did he know that, though? Who do you think he really is? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. Ugh, me too, but actually. But the dream figure <laughs> is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Yeah, I thought that the, uh, the dream visitor was just the tadpole's way of getting you to give in to the tadpole. And uh, into its power. It was uh, seducing you into... Allowing it to feed off of your brain and, you know, eventually make you an illithid or something. But it seems like that's not actually true. <laughs> he is actually a real person. Which is pretty cool that you get to design what it looks like then. Or he or she, I suppose. Since it, it, it could have been either one. Very cool. Yeah. So, what if, after all of this, Vlakith's actually right, and Voss is the one that's wrong? What would you do? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Ah, okay, well. She has very strong faith. She has very strong faith. But then again, it's how she's been brought up. It's her entire life up to now. So yeah, of course she has strong faith. Uh, let's move on. Well, I don't think it's going to come to that. But anyway, let's move on. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's leave. Okay. I think I'll probably leave it here and next episode we will go forth, I guess. I'm assuming that once we go to sleep, once we actually go to sleep, we'll transition into the uh, the dying lands or the wasted lands or whatever it was. The shadowed lands, that's it. The shadowed lands. So that'll be something to look forward to. 
<laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so turn on your notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.